So Adobe's latest release of Premiere Pro 2018 has introduced a bunch of new features to the Essential Graphics panel, and one of the cool features is that you can add a new role option to your title, so you can essentially create a credit role like this. So let me show you step by step how you can do this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up your Essential Graphics panel. If you don't already have it open, go to Window and select Essential Graphics. Next, you want to select your Type tool and go over to your Program Monitor. And then I'm going to type something in like credits. And now you'll see I have a graphics clip here in my timeline. And I'm going to reposition this. And if we watch here, it's a five second clip of just my title here. So now to add a role, I'll select the clip. And if you go down here, you'll see there's a new role button. So if I select this, now you'll notice a few things change. All these options are now available to adjust the timing of our role. There's a scroll bar in the program monitor. And if I play the clip back, you'll notice that within this five second span of time, we have our credits going from the bottom of the screen up to the top of the screen. So now let me show you what you can do with this. So when you apply a role, it's applying it to the entire graphics clip. So no matter how many layers you add to your clip, the role is gonna be applied to all of them and you can adjust them all accordingly. You can move them around. So let me just show you, I'm gonna add a new text layer and I can grab the selection tool and you can see now I have the two items here and I can position them accordingly. So I could just, I could also add images, I can add shapes, I can add whatever I want here. But one easy way to do this is I have created a list here, this text file, and I'm gonna select this, copy it over, and then just simply paste it here. And now I have my list and I'm gonna go through and I can quickly format this with any of these formatting tools here. And now if I play this back, you're gonna see that it's much too fast. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you quickly how we can retime this. Select this clip again. One thing I wanna tell you about is formatting. To format these, unfortunately right now it's quite tedious. You can go through and just select whatever you need to format and quickly readjust it if you want to italicize it. But unfortunately, the way it's set up right now, you can't do any like keyboard shortcuts like, like Command B to make something bold. None of these work. And when you copy things over from a word processor, like a text edit, none of the format options copy over as well. So I think that's some areas of improvement that Adobe could make for the next update to this, this particular feature. However, okay, let's say I want to retime this. After I'm done formatting, I want to retime it. And let's say I want this credit roll to be applied to a piece of music. So I'm going to drop in this piece of music. This piece of music is about 1 minute, 15 seconds. So it's as simple as dragging this out, and it will automatically retime. So now if I play this back, Okay, so you're gonna see it automatically retimed to fit the length here. And there's some fine tuning I can do. If I select the clip again, I have all these options here. I can choose to have it start on screen. If I deselect, I can have to choose, I can choose to have it end off screen or deselect this. I can adjust the duration of the pre and post roll, and I can adjust an ease in and an ease out. So that's how you can quickly create a simple, down and dirty, easy title roll.